Logarithmic differentiation is a method that may make finding the derivative of a function much, much simpler than if we were just following the standard differentiation rules. So, for example, if you're supposed to find dy by dx and y is the square root of x plus 3 raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared plus 2 times 3x minus 1 in brackets. Now we could of course use the chain rule because we have a square root and then a function inside. But we can use it a second time. We have x plus 3 raised to the power of 5. I can also see a quotient in there and I can see a product uh, if you look at the denominator just down here. So we can apply all of these and it might get quite complex. If we have this kind of situation where we're supposed to use multiple times the product rule, the chain rule or the quotient rule, or another case if the independent variable is in the base and the exponent. For example if we had something like x plus 1 in brackets raised to the power of x, we can use logarithmic differentiation. Now let's look at dln y by dx. We can write this as dln y by dy, dy by dx according to the chain rule. Now dln y by dy is of course just 1 over y. And that means we can now rearrange this and write it as dy by dx is equal to y times d ln y by dx. And this is the formula we can now use to find the derivative of a function just like the one up here. So what we'll do is we find ln y, we find the derivative of ln y with respect to x and we multiply this by y and this is just dy by dx. Now let's do it with our example. Let's start by finding ln y because if you remember we said that dy by dx is y d ln y by dx. So let's start with by finding ln y. Now ln y is of course ln of the square root here. So that would be ln of the square root of x plus 3 raised to the power of 5 divided by x squared plus 2 times 3x minus 1. This is where you can see why we're using the logarithm because we've got certain rules for logarithms that will come in very handy now because they help us simplify this expression. So for example, we've got ln of the square root of a function. Now the square root of something can be written as this something raised to the power of a half. So let's just do that. And if you remember the um, rule for logarithms, we can then write this as a half times ln of what was um, inside the square root. So what's left is x plus 3 to the fifth divided by x squared plus 2 times 3x minus 1. All of this in logarithm. Now we can use another logarithm rule to um, simplify what we've got here. So I can see a quotient here um, and I can see uh, down here I can see a product. So we can split this in three parts. We can write it as half times, well the top will give us ln x plus 3 to the fifth and the two terms at the bottom will just be sub subtracted so we get minus ln x squared plus 2 minus ln 3x minus 1. Alright, we can go one more step. We can write ln x plus 3 to the fifth in a different way by just taking the 5 to the front and I will do that and write it like this 5 over 2 ln x plus 3 and I'll just multiply the half inside minus a half ln x squared plus 2 minus a half ln 3x minus 1. Now we'll leave ln y the way it is. It's nicely simplified now. Let's go back to what we were originally trying to do which was to find the derivative of ln y and then multiply this by y. I'll just do this in one go here. y is just the square root up here. So we'll copy the square root. This is the square root of x plus 3 to the fifth divided by x squared plus 2 times 3x minus 1. 
and times the derivative of ln y by um, with respect to x. Now this was ln y, so the derivative of course is uh, 5 on 2 and we've got this um, multiplied in the denominator by x plus 3. What we get, do we get for the next one? We get minus 2x divided by 2x squared plus 2 using the chain rule and we've got minus uh, 3 over 2 times 3x minus 1 and we're done. So now we found the derivative of a rather complex function like this one up here and it was much simpler than applying all these rules one after the other. So if you have a complex problem like this it might come in very handy to use logarithms because they're very very powerful in simplifying um, your work when you're finding derivatives.